So many cities, um, states have these stay at home orders that's going on right now because of the situation with the virus. And a lot of people not listening, they are trying to just do whatever they want to do. Some of them are having, you know, Rona parties. Some of them are trying to just have large gatherings and care less. And then when they have these large gatherings and then all these people getting infected with Rona, then they want to start, you know, cr crying and looking for healthcare professionals to, to help them with Rona. When they told you behind the stay at home, just for a little while, stay yourself at home. There's nothing out there in them streets that you never done before that you just have to do and have to be out there unless you're getting some food or going to a doctor's office or you going to a job because you are part of an essential business. Well, why do a lot of you think that they're not going to start taking stricter measures to make you stay at home? Because the first time they asked everybody, they asked you, listen, it's a stay at home order. You know, this is what it is. They didn't put no penalties on nobody. They didn't threaten nobody with jail time. None of that. They just say stay at home. But no, the way American society is, you will not listen unless the consequences attached to it. Bottom line, because you are a rebellious nation. You are a rebellious nation. You're selfish in a lot of ways too. And so in order for you to have some act right, you got to have a consequence put on you. Case in point in Washington, DC. Now the mayor in Washington, DC is really taking a very, very, um, heavy handed approach to this. Um, she came out to say that, you will get 90 days in jail or slap with a $5,000 fine. If you seem to be leaving your home while efforts are being made to curb the spread of Rona. Now, mayor Mariel Bowser's directive came just hours after neighboring Maryland and Virginia unveiled similar orders on Monday and said their message remains the same. Stay home as they staying home is the best way to flatten the curve and protect yourself, your family, and the entire community from this virus that many people want to know how they can help right now. And most people, uh, can do this by staying at home. Now they say when they slow the spread of this virus, they say we protect our hospitals and our healthcare facilities from getting overwhelmed. We say we are people, uh, that's trying to keep the hospital beds, uh, open and make better use of limited resources, which is true because nurses and doctors are being overwhelmed. Stay, you can stay your behind at home. It's a lot you can do. Uh, have a, a great spring cleaning at your house. Do some projects that you probably wouldn't have never done if you had not had time at home. Um, get caught up uh, watching some, maybe some movies you always wanted to watch. Seasons of shows. You can watch YouTube. Uh, you can watch our show, for sure. Um, you can listen to podcasts. Definitely listen to our podcast. Listen to all our episodes you can till you listen to every last one of them. Um, I'm pretty sure that by the time you listen to all our podcasts, maybe, just maybe, uh, that time period will be over. But we know the time period has been extended at least with Trump up until April the 30th. Um, now they said that, you know, people are allowed to exercise outside as long as they keep six feet apart and are with members of the same household. So they're not going to tell you, you can't be with your wife and your children. You got to be six feet away from them. No, we're talking about just your household family. So they said residents are able to uh, obtain medical care, but there's just a, uh, still a ban on mass gatherings. I know some of you that like going to the club every weekend, you, you, you know, you, you don't know what to do with yourself. Some of you like is eating in the restaurant all the time. Don't like to cook. Some people don't even know how to cook. Well, you know what? Get acquainted because you're learning how to cook now because you can't go in these restaurants. Sure. You can do takeout, but a lot of you is not the same. Some of you like going to happy hour. There's no happy hour right now. You can't do that. Um, you need to go, I guess in some place, definitely Texas, they got a liquor store. You can go to a liquor store and you know, do what you got to do. You know, make your drinks at home. You, they are all kind of recipes at home. Well, trust me, you spend more money in that bar than you would ever spend at your house. Trust me on that. You can make all your own mixed drinks that you want or whatever you do. I don't know me. I don't drink like that. I like to try to keep myself sober at all times. Um, now they are saying that the threat of jail time didn't sit well with those pushing for civil liberties. Um, but then some people come back and say, well, we are in pandemic right now and y'all won't listen. What else do you expect them to do? Um, 
Now the ACLU said you want to send them where is it? You say when they saw this order, right? Is that people being arrested for that causes all sorts of problems that are anti-ethical uh, to the goals of lessening the virus. But what do you want them to do when people are not listening? That, that's the thing. You wouldn't have 90 days in jail or facing a $5,000 fine. If you stay you behind at home, they're not saying they go to come give everybody a freaking fine at your house. No, the fact is y'all once again, don't like to be told what to do, especially those, you know, them folks, y'all, the main ones. Don't like nobody telling y'all what to do. How dare somebody tell y'all what to do? No, you need, you need some, um, some barriers and you're not thinking about other people. It is that simple. This virus is very real. A lot of people are dying out here and something has to be done because y'all not listening. I don't feel bad. See, I can listen to that. See, staying at home doesn't bother me because I can work from home. I can do a whole lot here. Social distancing don't bother me either because I practice social distancing on a good day. I'm not underneath people like that unless I'm going to certain um, areas or events. But outside of that, no. I mean, I'm around my family more so than anything else. I'm not in people's face like that. So I guess I guess this, this don't really bother me. Some of you, I guess, maybe just used to doing certain things and being around a lot of people constantly, but I don't know. Like I said, that's just... It's, it's a walk, cakewalk for me with this. The only issue that, that I say that we have with this is, is like I said, the little ones. Like you say, I have a five-year-old, so, you know, all this is different for her because she used to go into school. Like, she would be in school right now. Um, you know, this she wouldn't be out of school. So, uh, that's the only difference. But other than that, no, nah, this, this, this is a cakewalk. But for those of you who are really rebellious, you may get them fines. Stay you behind at home. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with, you know, these different mayors are now enacting um, criminal penalties and uh, fines. But do you think that's harsh to do so? Or you think that, hey, they, they, if people just listen, they wouldn't have that problem to deal with?